Hey guys, so I wanted to go into a little bit more in depth into my collection, but I decided the best way to do that was kind of do it into sections. So I'm going to do a couple of uh, sections of my collection and kind of go over what I have on my shelves, what copies I have, editions, etc. So uh, I thought I'd start over here, and on this side we have the Green Mile. And uh, it also runs into then the Talisman and uh, Black House. So for the Green Mile, we have the hardcover edition. Um, uh, this was first edition, uh, the whole book all in one. We also have the screenplay, which uh, is pretty cool. Uh, Frank Darabont's screenplay for the movie that he did. Uh, this is the slipcase cover, uh, soft cover edition. It comes with the green uh, slipcase. So that one's pretty cool. And then I also have uh, the fame book in Greek the UK edition, the movie tie-in, uh, just the complete, all six of them together, the complete serial novel, six individuals, and then the uh, six in the box set, and this one's pretty cool because I came across this randomly at a, a store, I want to say in Kansas, and it has the uh, screensaver that came with it, but this was a really bad screensaver because it actually said the Green Mile in the corner and locked it in there, and burnt it into your screen. So you really wouldn't want to use that one as a green a screensaver. Then for the Talisman, we have the hardcover original uh, edition, uh, the re-release, and then two of the paperbacks here. Uh, now the paperbacks, the one is the original first edition older one that has the flip open cover where it shows Peter Straub and Stephen King with their signatures. Now, of course, there's not real signatures. And then the other one is the after release that is just one solid piece, no inner book. And then uh, we also have the black, oh, we also have the later cover release of The Talisman. Then Black House, we have also the UK edition, uh, the US edition, and then the hardcover first, and then this white uh, Harper Collins edition as well, and then the smaller book club edition black cover, which I thought was kind of cool. I like when the uh, book club editions come in in a slightly different size. I think that just kind of is unique and kind of cool the way they do that. Now down here, I don't know if you can see it. This is my Mr. Mercedes trilogy. We have uh, Mr. Mercedes in the uh, hardcover, uh, the medium edition, and then the regular paperback size. And then we have Finder's Keeper in the medium edition and paperback. I don't have the hardcover of that one. And then we have End of Watch and, and that one we have in the hardcover and medium edition. Don't have the regular size paperback on that one. So still looking for that. Uh, the Institute hardcover, uh, Sleeping Beauties with Stephen King and Owen uh, King uh, hardcover. And then we have Duma Key, two hardcovers and a paperback. The hardcovers is one is a book club edition, one is a regular edition. And then that brings us down here to Desperation and the Regulators. Now, I have Richard Bachman's stuff on a different shelf, but I keep this one with uh, Desperation since they do tie in together. So, and I have Desperation, I have the Desolation, which this one I want to say is Italian, I believe is the Italian version. Then I have the hardcover with the, you know, the half the picture where it goes and continues on with the Regulators, and we'll just kind of show that here real quick. I'm sure most people are familiar with that. And then I've got, of course, the two paperbacks. And then it's like, why do you have two editions? Well, one is actually a shinier one than the other ones. They're slightly different. Also, uh, one is, says Signet Novel, one says Signet Fiction. Um, then we have this cover. And this is the original paperback, the first edition paperback. And then it's got the inner flap that opens up. I love it when books do that. And then for the Regulators, we have the smaller book club edition version of the Regulators. Again, I love the smaller size. We have the full size Regulators, which you saw earlier. And then I have a second book club edition one. This one is a little bit more beat up. I keep it around just in case. And then I have Ivindicatori. I'm not sure if this one's Italian or if this is French. It, it might be Italian. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if it says something on the inside. Uh, doesn't really say, so I'm not 100% sure if this is Italian or not, but it's one of my foreign editions. And then for the paperback editions of that, we have the 
first edition one that came out with the flip open book. Again, love those. The uh, shiny later edition that matches the one from earlier. And then the bit of taller later releases that they did with that cover that were a bit taller and thinner. So yeah, those that's what's all on this shelf here. Then over on this one, and this one uh, is kind of fun. We have the Outsiders. We have the uh, hardcover, the medium size, and the paperback. Dolores Claiborne, and then three different uh, covers on those as well. And each one is a different one. Gerald's Game, and I keep Dolores Claiborne and Gerald's Game again together because, you know, they do tie, kind of tie in together with the Eclipse and everything. Uh, then over here we have a uh, Cycle of the Werewolf, and I've got two editions of this that are in English. The uh, original one, and then the later release one. And they're both the illustrated uh, copies, so they've got the artwork on the inside, which is really cool. And then I have Das, We das, das Jahr des Werewolfs, so the German edition of Cycle of the Werewolf. Uh, then the Tommy Knockers, I've got the German Das Monstrum, which is uh, the Tommy Knockers in German. Uh, you know, the one that kind of looks along like the movie that came out. Uh, the two, one is the red foil color, cover, one is the uh, yellow foil cover. Um, and then we've got the different paperback editions, the original, the one that came out a little later and then the mid 2000s. Then we have a copy of Gwendy's Button Box, Elevation, and uh, Umni's Last Case. I just love this little itty bitty tiny one. Then down here we have Dreamcatchers. Now I've got a, a regular hardcover edition of Dreamcatcher. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can move it down for you. Dreamcatcher. Then we have a large print edition, a smaller book club edition. This one is in, uh, I want to say Spanish or Italian. Uh, the thicker uh, edition here, and then two paperbacks. One is a, the movie tie-in version, and one is the uh, was the first edition release after the hardcover. And then I have the three Japanese uh, versions. And the thing I like about the Japanese ones is, and I've said it before, is it's kind of cool how they all tie together to make one picture. Now I only have two, three, and four. I don't have the first one, but I still think that's really neat. So I'm always on the lookout for the other one if I can ever find it. Uh, then we have my Dead Zone collection, and a lot of people are like, why do you have so many copies of the Dead Zone? Now, they all are different. So, like, for addition, for example, these two look the same, but one is shinier on the bottom, one is fiction, one is novel. So, there again, they do, they are a little bit different. Uh, we've got the British version. I love the uh, metallic kind of print that they do on the British one. We also have, you know, uh, from the author of It... Now, it's the same cover, but it'll say from the author of The Shining, the author of Pet Cemetery. So I've got the different versions of that, and I do collect those. We two have two hardcovers. One is the regular uh, uh, for sale edition. One is the book club edition. Uh, we also have a smaller book club edition, which is kind of neat that there were two different sizes. And then we have a couple of the different re-releases, the movie edition with Christopher Walken, and the larger blue release edition. And I like that blue cover one. So that's this section of my book uh, collection. I will be doing a little bit more later on. Um, uh, hopefully we'll be moving on to this section over here. You can kind of see what's going on. And then the audio collection as well. So I hope everybody is uh, staying safe and keep reading.